right, this is some of the stuff that's going on in here. My kitchen is a total disaster. Let me show you. No. no. So we did the homeschool stuff, and that's organized. Okay, but this is the stuff that came out of it, so I have to put this stuff in my kitchen. Some of this stuff needs to be given away. Some of it needs to be sold. Hey, guys. So today we're in my kitchen. I showed you in the previous video that I took part of my kitchen island, the two shelves, and made it into a homeschool center for my kids. Okay, so everything that was on those shelves that had to do with the kitchen ended up here on my counter and on the floor. So I'm going to show you what is in my cabinets up top. Now when we moved here, I wasn't able to, well I had to hurry up. So I just put things in the cabinets where I thought that they would be good at. But since living here for a couple of months, I can realize that it's not optimal where I put the stuff. Okay, so we live in a tiny house. We have less than 700 square feet. Of space and this is a very tiny kitchen it's like eight by eight maybe with the dining room so very tiny kitchen um, we are just coming from a house that had a kitchen that was three times bigger than this at least so I have already gotten rid of 70% of my stuff before I even got here when I got here I got rid of even more and now I'm going to get rid of some more stuff and I'm going to have at least one empty cabinet because I need to put all of this stuff in it that came from the island. Okay, I'm going to show you what's actually in these because like I said before, when we moved here, I just was like, yeah, this should go here, this should go here. But when you actually use something, you know if it's good or not if it's efficient, if it's saving you time, or am I having to walk back and forth? This is where I put my dishes. <laughs> and I plate food up over there because my oven and my um, stove top are over there. Okay, so I have to walk back and forth to get plates. So that doesn't make sense. So this needs to be flopped over here. Now I have uh, food jars in here, I have oats, and rice which should be over here because here is the kettle this is the boiling water machine so it would make more sense to put it over here and have it here now some of this stuff could stay here like the salt because I cook here so um, just things need to be I need to think more and switch some stuff around now a lot of these glasses would be okay to keep if we were living here and staying here in Israel, but we're not. Um, this is our coffee, so this is a, it's good to keep it here where the boiling water is. But there's, like, I'm keeping that cup because my grandmother gave it to me, so I'll probably take it to the States with me. But, like, these cups right here, they were for guests that come over, and we're going to America, and we're gonna get rid of stuff before we go. We don't really have any guests that come over, so we're gonna get rid of those, and if we have guests, then they can drink out of a little uh, glass. When his father and his stepmother come over, they usually drink mud coffee, so we're going to keep um, some coffee cups for them when they do come over. They, these are teas and the stevia, and some more like mud coffee so all that's gonna stay here but this is all going except for this this it just seemed like a good idea it's a space saver we have all of this that goes to the coffee machine we have this and we have the kool-aid just all of our drinks in one bowl and it saves space on the counter so it's not on the counter but all the rest of the dishes are gonna go over here. Okay, so I have my drawer. I will, I 
have been cleaning this out randomly. Um, this is stuff that we got at, uh, like, stores. <laughs> you know, the um, fast food. So this was, like, sushi, and this is McDonald's or whatever. So I'm using that stuff up. Um, the rest of the stuff basically has to stay in there. We use it. This is my daughter's play toys for the kitchen. This is going to come out. This right here is going to come out. I, I need these for my waffle machine. And I do use my waffle machine. This stuff right here, uh, baking stuff, thermometers, that um, I'll probably get rid of. I want to keep that because it's cool. Uh, but this stuff right here is stuff that is going to go to America. So I can put this in a different area. I'm going to take my big Corel plates, my big cast iron thing. It's pretty dirty in there too. All of my rocks that are special to me and a plate that we actually forgot. In the past couple of years, uh, Hadar has gone to the States for work uh, twice. And he was stationed with the base in at Eggland, which is it's kind of far away from my parents but he took the drive down to my parents to visit them and they went out and whatnot but anyway he took a bunch of our stuff that we are going to use in America um, so this is stuff that we're gonna take with us on the plane when we leave you see all of these my daughter actually took all of this stuff out of this So all of that goes in there. And this is for <laughs> Raphael's school lunch. It is doubtful that he's going to go to school because school is almost out now and we've had a lot of trouble getting him in. So he will use that stuff in America because he'll still be taking his lunch then. This whole basket I can probably do away with or do something else with and it could be organized better. There's a bag back there. Basically all of my baking stuff that I don't want is in here. I don't really bake and when I do bake, I bake in like a Pyrex dish that has a lid on it for storage. So I can get rid of all of that stuff. All right, and this is a cabinet. I actually need to put the shelf back in. I was having my homeschool stuff in here and it didn't really work out well because the trash can was here and I couldn't get into there. So I'm going to put stuff in here that I don't use all the time, but I still use, like this waffle maker. I don't use it every day. I use it like once or twice a month, okay? So I'll put that down there, you know, things like that. I'll put down there so I don't have to get to it. This is a junk drawer and I am not touching this at all. Not at all. Don't feel like that right now because I have a lot to do. So I'm going to go through this. I know for sure that I don't want all of these jars. They're food storage jars. I gave a lot of them to my mother-in-law already. Like I had three times more than this. And I gave her some of the big ones too. So I'll see if she wants any more. And if she doesn't, I'll try to sell them. And we're gonna have like yard sale three times. And if it doesn't, if we don't sell everything three times, then we'll probably just get rid of it on the street or sell it for all one money on Facebook. Hopefully somebody would need it and want to buy it. Um, so then I'm going to clean my kitchen and then show you the final result. But I will take you through probably fast forward. We'll see. And we'll get this stuff organized and out of here. Oh, forgot to show you this basket real quick. It has a bunch of seasoning and spices and baking stuff and just random stuff, coloring and spices that we're using up this year. Hi guys. I know I finished this project, but I just don't have the ending footage. And this was over three years ago now that we did this. It was probably four years ago. And you know, it did eventually get all completely cleaned out. And most of this stuff either got sold or it went to my mother-in-law. This is at the time where we were using a hot plate and a toaster oven. And it was just a really tiny kitchen in a really tiny house but we we did like this house except for the flooring it was a uh, pretty nicely laid out 
and I could easily cook in here even though it was such a tiny kitchen. Okay, I gave you enough time to count how much stuff's right here. This is going to be a gift. A giveaway gift. That's right, getting rid of stuff. So, Mrs. Grandma, enjoy. She's got some ceramic stuff, some Corel bowls, which we don't... You don't even have here. Yeah, we don't, yeah. We don't have... We, the, the, we do have it now. There's, we do have Corel, yeah. Okay, so I looked and I was like, oh, that I didn't get rid of that much, but I have the hangers to prove that I got rid of half of it. And he still has loads of clothes. Whoop, another one. Yeah, he still has loads of clothes. So, very good. Cousin's going to get blessed with some clothes to wear. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our other videos and our other channels where we daily vlog every single day on Fully Living. Leave us a comment to let us know you are here. Have a great day.